safety is a priority for us. The management of Emirates Steel, we care about people, we care about their health, we care about the, the environment we are uh, working in. There are so many initiatives that uh, we do, but I think one of the important things that we always on site and we are always asking about safety and we are always looking for a, a better performance of safety. Well, usually in a, in, a, in a steel plant, you get you get the molten steel. That's number one hazard. Definitely, it trips, falls, working at heights. Um, there's a lot of crane movements around here, so um, falling objects would be a, uh, another one. The main objective of Aman to make sure we are mitigating the risk in day-to-day -day activities, and also to have a consistent culture of safety. Of course, uh, there have been some very important uh, fundamental changes that have been done. On top of that, we also designed the risk management, let's say, work streams, which divided in three areas to focus on as a phase one. So we focused on the permit to work procedures and we already enhanced it. We also focused on the observations uh, and inspections. And additional to that, we also enhanced the risk assessments. Um, the air transformation, um, uh, as opposed to the other program elements, was focusing on the shop floor. The, uh, the activities uh, on, in that area was, was really structured into three main focus areas. The first one was risk containment, where we really focused with the shop floor on identifying risks on a daily basis and uh, addressing these risks with action plans. The second one was frontline supervisor coaching. So we really focused on a leader standard work um, uh, in practice. So it was on the job coaching uh, on key, uh, key attributes for a supervisor. The third one, which is also the most important one, which is the management operating system, uh, the MOS. So we worked together with Emirates Steel in that specific area, developing the uh, structural uh, meeting discussions on performance, uh, combining both operations and safety because they go, they go hand in hand. We have now established the safety rules of the company, the life-saving rules, everybody has been trained on them. So there has been a lot of groundwork being done over the last year to uh, embark on our safety journey. All our teams, our supervisor, our senior, they are like working like safety officer. They are checking, they are raising observation, they are seeing uh, high risk, they are uh, not high risk, they are reporting high risk. And this helps us to, to do the mitigation to reduce this high, high risk or all uh, unsafe act or unsafe condition. The main thing was change from now and before. Uh, from now and before. before we was uh, manager section, they visited the plant, but they not focused to interact with the people to speak about safety as a first priority. But really from last year, we just we have daily walk about in the plant. I mean, manager, section head, and supervisor. Uh, working with DuPont, we've managed to have a, a bird's eye view and a comprehensive view of how the journey will look like and what are the steps that we need to fulfill in every phase to be able to, uh, to achieve the goal that we want to achieve. A safe environment gets you a better productivity. We have a really a uh, good safety culture around uh, around the business. The, the business evolve and improve in, by uh, by all means in all aspects.